There's something magical about the sheer cliffs and endless views of mountains and waves off in all directions that truly embodies the mystical feel of Big Sur. It's been way too long since I've made the trip up this iconic coastline. So welcome to this video of our trip along the Big Sur coast. We started our trip camping just south of Big Sur and woke up to a spectacular sunrise. We couldn't wait to hit the road and make our way out of cell service and into the fog and the sheer cliff sides. With no plans of any kind, we stopped multiple times up and down along the coast. Especially with views like this, it was hard not to stop and photograph. This scene was one of my favorites of the day. The warm morning light spilling through the mountain cliffs, just beginning to illuminate the waves below. At first, I really preferred this wider view, but after giving it some thought, I actually now much prefer this cropped in view of just the cliff sides glowing in the morning light. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. So we are spending a long weekend up in Big Sur get the camera to change and adjust the brightness you can see. We're heading down a very steep cliffside, walking down to the coast and just going handheld for this one so I don't have to carry my big heavy bag and hopefully we'll have a nice quiet morning and can find some good images handheld with just my video camera and standard 24 to 70 standard zoom so nothing too crazy so we'll see what we can find once we get a little bit further down the trail along the coast the lights excellent we have some really good misty conditions this morning so even though I don't have all my stuff with me I'm sure that I can still find some cool images once we get down to the bottom As I was filming, I didn't even notice the dramatic light unfolding behind me. It wasn't until I began to hike back up to the top of the cliff that I saw these two stunning scenes, with light rays bursting in all directions behind the pines. Once we got to the top, we stopped for a quick breakfast, and then carried on further north up Highway 1, stopping at our ultimate destination. Welcome to what will be our base camp. Here in Big Sur for the next few days, we have this awesome yurt set up. Anyways, just thought I'd show you around quickly. Nice and warm in here when it's nice and chilly outside. And now we go outside into the more blustery but very sunny conditions. Check out this view. So I've got my Adirondack chair set up right here. Now I'm just waiting for some time to get a beer, relax, wait for the sunset. Okay, so I did find this scene that I like right over my back shoulder and I found a good bunch of wildflowers with the sunset and the ocean off behind it. Uh, so just focused in with a relatively wide aperture. Uh, going to shoot at f2.8 to get that soft painterly look in the scene behind this bunch of wildflowers, but uh, the sun is setting nice and low right now, cascading some of that golden hour light across the scene, and uh, I think this is a pretty good 
one. So hiking light tonight, don't have my bag with me, uh, just shooting handheld. Um, so the larger aperture does help with that as well. Uh, but I'm gonna keep walking down this trail and see if I can find any other cool scenes to photograph as the sun is just beginning to set. Well, good morning, everybody. We're up and at it, bright and early, and heading down to the coast where all of these cliffs are. And the light right now is spectacular, so I'm gonna power hike down and make sure I can get up set, uh, get set up quick before it fades. Very damp. set up with the C-Stacks kind of cascading from this right corner to the back left. And the leftmost, uh, leftmost part of the frame has all of the rocks and the edge of the coastline and just a little bit of mist in the middle. So I'm set right at F8 ISO 100 and I'm exposing as far to the right as I can. I know it looks a little bit washed out in this preview but this way I'll get as much of the data as possible. Nice and level setup, and I'm gonna zoom in on the middle C-stack, right around here, and manually focus, make sure everything is nice and sharp. So that's good. Now I'm just gonna wait for the right wave pattern. That looks good right there. 1 25th of a second, beautiful pastel sunrise colors here on the coast of Big Sur to start the day. And I'm quite happy with this image as the first one for today. I'm now going to explore around a little bit and see if I can find uh, anything else this morning. At first I really loved this composition. But admittedly, I've gone a bit back and forth. The sea stacks feel a little too crowded in the center. That being said, I do think it still communicates the sense of calm that I felt standing on the cliffside that morning. Not much further up the trail, I stopped at an additional cliff overlook. I quickly put on my 16-35 wide-angle lens 
mostly because of these wildflowers growing right along the edge of the cliff. I actually prefer this composition to the one that I had just taken a few moments before. I like the simplicity of the lone sea stack and the subtle mystery of the ocean waves fading out into the fog. So one of the other interesting things about getting up for sunrise and photographing along the Big Sur coast is because of these mountains back behind me off to the east, it actually takes a while for some of those light beams that we saw on the hike yesterday to actually break over the top of the mountains and light up the scenes along the coast, which is good for lazy, non-morning people like me. Um, but it's also good for you know, having a little bit of a break between that really early morning sunrise glow and when we get that really dramatic light. Uh, so now my wife and I are just out hiking along the edge of this cliff and scoping out anything that looks interesting for when the light does change. Well, the fog is actually rolled in even thicker than when we first arrived to this spot. Um, so we are heading down this trail and off to find a new location. All right, so we're back in the car and about to head back up the coast, maybe find a little bit more of a scenic spot uh, where we can actually see what's out there instead of being uh, unable to see anything but fog. What did you think of that cliffside view? It's really beautiful. Yeah. It's very different. It's very, uh, it's protected and we live in San Diego and so every piece of property by the ocean, I mean, literally every square inch has a house built on it and so it's amazing to see coastland that has barely anybody on it and I keep thinking of Jack Kerouac. Yep, so onward to the next scenic viewpoint. We continued up and down Highway 1 for the rest of the day. Both of us were awestruck at the endless mountain views and cascading patches of fog migrating through the peaks and valleys, and especially the endless opportunity for compositions and stunning photographs at nearly every bend in the road. So we found this awesome view as we were driving south on the one where there's multiple layers of mountains cascading down into the fog line. So I'm set up at about 200 millimeters on the 100 to 400, zoomed in and isolating this fog line in the distance. Uh, so I'm set right at F8, so 100. Zoom in, let's make sure. Very nice and short. We've got this beautiful light across the top of the mountains. Perfect. And I love how this foreground mountain ridge is just catching some of the early morning light. Cascades off into the distance, and then this backmost mountain ridge has a few trees along the top, and then just disappears down into the fog layer. So this looks pretty perfect. I'm set at ISO 100, F8, exposing to the right, perfectly level. Excellent. Now I'm going to do one final image of the scene where I actually just zoom directly into this fog line and try to cut out the sky entirely. I think this makes an excellent composition. So again, gonna zoom in, make sure that the ridges are nice and sharp. And just some really, really beautiful light and conditions this morning. 
and this is all the way in at 400 millimeters. F8 ISO 100. This scene of the mountains was my favorite of the entire trip. I also really liked this slightly cropped in version where I created a panorama of just the fog hanging in the mountains, drifting off miles and miles into the distance. Well, yeah, this one might be a little more challenging to see, but I like how down in here there's one lone little rock island and the ocean is visible on this bottom part but then disappears into the fog up on the top so i'm just going to very quickly zoom all the way in make sure this is nice and focused check out the birds and I'll actually get them in the scene as well So, a new first for this trip. Danielle's gonna take her first photo of Big Sur. <laughs> Tell them what you're looking at. With something other than an iPhone. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I love the mountains and the ocean. They're my two favorite things. So when we pulled over here, I know Brian was really zoomed in. But I think my favorite thing about Big Sur is how clean and turquoise the water is because we're not close to um, a bay or a harbor like we are in San Diego or a little bit more north than San Francisco. So what I chose for this picture, I wanted to include the mountains, um, the greenery, the rocks, and then also the water. I love when you have multiple natural elements in a photograph. So here we go. Awesome. We will post that one right now. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. <laughs> we'll see. I really think Danielle's first image on this channel turned out to be a great one. This would make for a really good, very large print where all of the subtle details of this image could be seen in full display. We continued driving north until we finally stopped at Point Lobo State Park. We spent the afternoon hiking through some pretty scenic trails, but didn't stop to take any additional photographs. I even passed some of the more Instagram famous locations. And frankly, I just don't get the mass appeal yeah, there's a bridge and a tiny waterfall, but some of the best views of Big Sur were some of the unmarked overlooks further south. I'm glad that that's where we spent the majority of our time. It had been a long day of traveling, so we finally made it back and poured ourselves a glass of wine and warmed up next to the fire. The next morning, we woke up with sunrise and enjoyed the view as we drove home. I thought multiple times about stopping to take a few more images, but instead, just stopped to enjoy the view. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this trip to Big Sur, and I look forward to seeing you around in the next one.